All right, let's see what we got going on here with this microphone. Can you guys, is this what the streamers do? Let me walk around in the back, make sure you can hear me over here. See what's going on. Okay, a little bit of monotone action. You guys picking that up? Is that good? Can you, can you see me back here? What if I was to sneak on over here now? What if I, can you see me? Oh, you might be able to see me. Oh, how about now? Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. How's it going, big pimpin'? Hard out here for a pimp, son. All right, everybody. How you guys doing today? We got our little <laughs> fancy microphone here. We're sitting on the newscast. All right, here's the news of the day. We went ahead and we got some cables here we're going to put on. We got the sad and the happy. Okay, we're going to put them on. I had the batteries tested, the one I uh, <clears throat> tried putting on here the other day. It was actually deader than a doornail. <clears throat> it was worse than the one we had on it. And the one we had on it said it was good, but it needed charge, which is weird because it had 12 volts. But we're charging it. So, anyways, that's the news for today. It might rain a little bit. We'll get there when we get there. And uh, sorry to everybody. I would have had this one out a little sooner, but forecast recently, <laughs> let me tell you, we've had a, a lot of tornadoes around here and uh, we think we had some sort of funnel action go over us because we have about a million trees down everywhere, but no actual tornado touchdown. It just blew a bunch of trees and crap off. It blew, it blew the roof off the shop. I might have to show you that in a minute, but, uh, well, the awning. It blew the awning off in a piece of the roof, but we'll show you that later. Anyways, let's get to uh, putting these cables on here. I'm hoping this should fix our problem. Uh, the terminals and everything on the cables last the ones that were on it before man they were horrible so uh I, I did keep those cables just in case we need them for a future project cut them down splice them put new terminal ends on them we're good to go uh but we're gonna go ahead and throw new ones on here so let's stop talking turn this camera around get you up in here and get to business all right let me go ahead and pop this one this is easy one. all right negative cable easiest one there ever was and we left all the tools in the shop, so we're doing this with our with our hands right now. But this is easy because it just goes right here on this alternator bracket. And yes, I need to both hands with a little microphone, so we're uh, the news is over. Okay, we'll come back around noon ish thirty. But uh, right now we need both hands, so we're gonna get this hooked up in here. Make sure when you put these on here, you're not doing the see how the top. And then the bottom. Make sure you do the bottom on the bottom, okay? So you don't twist your wire in all sorts of weird ways. You just, you know, put it on there once the right way and call it a day. All right. I'm sure this isn't where this was supposed to go, but that's where we got it. Negative cables in there. And we'll get into the positive one. I'll tighten that up after a while. We'll forget it and... I'll wonder why we have a bad ground, look for 15 years, and figure out it's because I didn't tighten it. Let's climb it here. Make sure you guys get a tarp. You need it on wet ground. Make sure you get an old one so it doesn't do anything and you still get wet. Did you guys know that uh, it's bright up there? Whew. Okay, find this wire. Take too long, viewers get upset. They leave, channel stinks, I guess. Something like that. Where, what in God's green earth? Oh, <laughs> silly me. I put the nut back on so I wouldn't lose it. Forgot it. Tried putting these on there. They won't go. Okay, let's force this hot cable in a position it doesn't care for. Okay, I think I should route this. Let's be clear, this isn't the same one that was supposed to go on there, but it's the one we got. So, we routed that uh, positive cable. I went ahead and threw this on here to keep it as far away from that exhaust as possible, but you can tell that it likes to lay right there next to it. I don't really much care for that, but I guess we'll see over time. Um, anyways, we got routed up here. We know it's just enough, and our negative cable will hook up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up this battery, step over there, and see if anything happens. 
All right, we got our battery cable hooked up. We got our uh, little charging box here charging. And we got our leads hooked up. We got our negative back over there and our positive back over here to the uh, battery lead ignition for the uh, distributor cap there. I'm going to step over here. I'm going to start it and uh, see if these numbers change, drop, do whatever they were doing before. I'm going to hook that uh, ignition cable back up to the distributor and we're going to see if it'll uh, it'll start and run on it. Uh, it looks way better than it was. I'm thinking it might still be just a bad battery. This one over here on the left here, uh, same one that was in it. Um, it tested, it had 12 volts when I brought it there, so it was charged. And uh, the guy told me that his little reader at O'Reilly said it was good, but it needs charged, but it doesn't make any sense. So it could be on its way out. This is a battery from 2020. And it's been cranked a lot on this thing, and I can tell because there's a bunch of fuel in the oil. That's why I don't want to run this very long, but uh, I think this battery over here might be on its way out, and we might have to buckle down and just get a new one, okay? Uh, for now, we got it hooked up. We still have it charging. I took off the multimeter. Uh, I checked the inside of the carb to see if that accelerator pump was working. Uh, I didn't see it squirting any fuel nowhere, not anywhere, none. But if we have to, I'll put a little fuel in it, kind of coax it about. Um, we might, I'm not, I don't know nothing about this carburetor. I didn't put it on there. I didn't, don't know nothing about it. So we'll figure it out as we go. I'm going to step over here and uh, see if we'll get enough fuel pressure in here to get this thing to bark off and run for a minute. I think uh, fuel might be a problem. Looks to me like that ain't getting full like it's supposed to. And I know there's nothing clogging these lines because I blew them all out the other day, but. tell that fuel's pretty bad off because it's smoking like a Frank train and smells and it's blue you know but anyways it's kind of short just wanted to show you guys uh, when I did go ahead and put these cables and stuff back on if it did fix the the problem or if it didn't and so far it looks like it did so bad battery bad cables fix the problem from last week even though last week we did get it to run, it was a miracle, goodness. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was short. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helps anybody that has this problem. And uh, get out there and, and start working on stuff. You don't got forever to do it. So get out there and start working. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, also, before I leave, uh, a lot of you guys aren't subscribed. I get it. You come in here, you watch a video, you're in and you're out. Uh, but if you guys wouldn't mind, it's free, it's easy, and you can have a notification every single time uh, I put one of these fancy videos out for you guys. So if, uh, if you guys like the channel, subscribe, like, comment. It all helps me, helps the algorithm. Uh, thank you guys so much, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. As always, have a good day.